how to automatically highlight numbers in Excel with the green color if the number is positive and with a red color if the number is negative. We can do it with many different methods, but here I'm going to show you two main ways to do it using first conditional formatting in Excel and then we can use numbers formats. It doesn't matter what type of number you are using. Here I'm using percentage, but you can also use currency or just common numbers. All of the negative numbers are being highlighted with a red color and all the positive numbers are being highlighted with a green color. And remember, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. And that way you can choose the manner that you like the most. So let's go. As we're going to see two different methods, let's start with the first one. That is using conditional formatting in Excel. And I want to apply the conditional formatting to the first table that I have. I'm using a sales report, basically, with the months as the category. And I'm comparing the one year to the next. And the way I have here the percentage. So let's say whenever my percentage is a positive number, such as 20%, I want to highlight just the number and not the background or the entire cell with a green color, but just the text with a green color. And whenever I have a negative number, I want to highlight only the number, just the text with a red color. And to do it, first I need to select everything where I want to apply the conditional formatting. And then I go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting. In Conditional Formatting, we have a lot of different options, such as Highlight Cell Rules, Top Bottom Rules, Data Bars, and on and on and on. Here I'm going to stick with the first option, Highlight Cells Rules. Because I already have the option that I need to use. And uh, the one that I'm going to choose first can be greater than, greater than. That way I can set whenever I have a value that is greater than zero, or I mean, whenever a number is greater than zero, or in other words, is a positive number, I want to highlight the text with a green color. And to highlight not the background with red or yellow color, I can go to custom format and change the format. So let's stick with the font. I want to use, let's say, bold, just to make it different. And as the color, I want to use a greenish one. I'm going to click OK, and then OK again. Now, whenever I have a positive number, I'm going to have also a green color. And if I change the result, let's say, in the year one, I have 2,500, and here I have roughly 2,700. I'm going to change to maybe 2,000, and then I'm going to press Enter. As you can see, now the number that was green before now is with no highlight at all. And if I change again the number, maybe 275, enter. As you can see, now I have a greenish color within the number automatically. Let's select everything again and apply the red color. Home tab, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. And now I want to use the second option, less than. And whenever I have a number that is less than zero, or in other words, a negative number, I want to use as a custom format, the font, bold, and a red color. Maybe like this one right here. Okay, and okay. Yeah, that's it. So this is already working. But maybe here we have a problem. We need to be mindful because if I have the same number over the two years that I have, let's say 2200, and also here in the year two, 2200, I'm going to press enter. As you can see, I have zero as result. And this result, zero, is not being highlighted for me. If you want to highlight the number that is equal to zero, you also need to apply again the conditional formatting, consider the zero as a possibility, as a result. So you can either let the zero with no conditional formatting, with no highlight at all, or you can select everything again, home tab, conditional formatting, and this time I want to highlight the sales rules that is equal to the number zero or zero percent. And as a custom format, I want to apply bold and a green color as the same as before. Okay, and then that's it. Now the zero is also included in my conditional formatting here in Excel. Okay, so this is the first method that we can apply using conditional formatting. But maybe in Excel, there is a faster and easier way to apply this conditional formatting or this automatic color green, red to change with the number. Uh, let me select everything here. And now, instead of using conditional formatting in Excel, I want to go to the Home tab. And within this Numbers tool, I want to click where I have percentage or in this now arrow within the bar. And I want to go to more numbers formats. And with this new window, you can see that uh, there is a lot of options. And as I'm using percentage as my format in Excel, as my result, I'm here in the percentage. But if you are using, let's say, a currency or a number format, it doesn't matter. So let's say you are using number or currency. 
as I'm using percentage, this is why I selected percentage or this is why I was already at percentage here in the options. Then you need to go to custom and uh, here is where you're going to need to change the criteria. So let's say whenever I have a positive number within this bar with the sample, we can see. So whenever I have the value that I'm using and uh, be mindful because here I'm using percentage. But as I said before, if you are using currency and you go to custom, you're going to see a different type of format, but you can follow the same logic. So I'm using percentage and then I go to custom. And then after everything, I want you, if I have a positive number, I want to open square brackets and I want to input the green color or the green word and then close square brackets. Now we're going to input semicolon, semicolon. And I want to select everything that I did before. I want you to cope with right click and then code. Now after the semicolon, right click and paste. This one is going to be different. Instead of using green, I want you to use red. Okay. And then I'm going to press okay. And yeah, that's it. Now, whenever we have a positive number, we're going to get a green color. And whenever we have a negative number, we're going to get a red highlighted number. And as you can see here, we basically read it off the negative sign or the minus sign. If you want to return with the negative sign, you can select everything. And then you can go again to the numbers format, go to more numbers formats. And within the custom, you can customize it again in the second criteria. Uh, before the zero, I can input a negative sign like this to tell Excel that I, always that I have a negative number. I will also want to have a minus sign before it. So, okay. Now I have as the negative numbers, the same as before, but this time with this negative sign. So this is how we can highlight numbers in Excel with green or red colors or other colors that you like to use using conditional formatting in Excel and also the numbers format. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.